Hello, my name is Daniel. Uh, traffic is one of, one of the most inconvenient and random factors in our transportation system. An example of this is on the 5 freeway near the San, uh, city of San Clemente. Currently, there is only one route to get to this freeway from Orange County. Uh, Transportation Corridor Agency projected the plan to extend the State Route 241 to the Interstate 5 Freeway, uh, ending in St. Clemente. Their plan was rejected by the California Coastal Commission in March 1999 due to the fear of, neg of negatively impacting its surrounding environment. They feared it would negatively affect the waves of a, a famous be uh, surf beach called Trestles Beach, that it would uh, ruin the serenity of uh, San Onofre State Beach Park and cause the extinction of 10 endangered species in the area. This evening, I will prove to you that these fears are pointless. My major claim is that the, the completion of the State Route 241 will have a harmless effect on its surrounding environment. My supporting points our number one completion of uh, Highway 241 will leave the surf brakes on Trestles Beach unaffected. Number two, the completion of Highway 241 would preserve the serenity of uh, the existing park in the area. And number three, the completion of Highway 241 will preserve the endangered wildlife in the area. <coughs> number one, the completion of Highway 241 will leave the surf brakes on Trestles Beach unaffected. Because the cause of surf, the surf breaks on Trestle Beach is from sediment or cobbles on the San Mateo Creek. These cobbles are displaced naturally uh, by the uh, heavy rainfall in that area. Uh, but the fear is that uh, by placing the, uh, the highway there, it would uh, either cause too many cobbles to, to move at the shoreline at one point or not enough. Uh, Dave Skilly, a uh, coastal engineer surf and, and surfer, says these cobbles are the foundation for a trestle's surf spot. Just like the cobbles we saw up in the watershed, it takes about a 50 year recurrence interval of rain intensity to bring these cobbles down to the shoreline. Once they reach the shoreline, they, they go out and make the surf spot. The tow road project will in no way impact the delivery of cobbles into the shoreline. This means that Currently, with the, the cobbles on the, uh, the creek bed on there right now, it would take about half a century for them to get reached this shoreline. Uh, Surfer Magazine uh, said it's for scale, the projected discharge, discharge due to the extension it is enough to fill up a public bathroom, uh, restroom at St. Honestly. Compared to the entire shoreline, this is this is rather small. Number two, the completion of Highway 241 will preserve the serenity of the existing parks in the area because the TCA claims that alternate the, that the alternate route will run through a small section of the east side of the San Onofre State Beach Park. According to FTCSouth.com, the line crosses at a little used inlet subunit of San Onofre State Beach Park east of Interstate 5, almost a, a mile away from the, from the beach. The most popular campgrounds are west of Interstate 5, far from 240. This proves that, that uh, most, most of the uh, park users won't even see the highway. Uh, the highway will also be equipped with a 16-foot uh, sound wall to quiet the noise of the, the vehicles. FTCSouth.com uh, also reports that the alternate route will be uh, 385 feet from the, from the nearest campground. Currently, Interstate 5 is 250 feet away from Bluffs Campground, located in San Monterey State Park, State Beach Park, and is not equipped with a sound wall. It shows that the design that the TCDA uh, provided uh, is environmentally friendly by uh, preserving the serenity of, the, of the, the local park. Number three, the completion of Highway 241 will preserve the endangered wildlife in the area because 
uh, to execute a plan like this, uh, the TCA is required to perform an environmental impact uh, report. Uh, and uh, in doing so, the two agencies are sure that no uh, species will be uh, threatened in this area. The National Oceanic and uh, Atmospheric Administration and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services. They uh, they showed that they could, that the ten species in that area will not be affected and will not go extinct if uh, the high will stay there. Not only does the TCA plan to avoid these these animals in, in a negative negative way, but they also to agree to mitigate 57 acres of the area in which they live uh, in the near the projected route. Given these proven facts, please agree with me that the completion of State Route 241 will have a harmless effect on its surrounding environment. Thank you. All right, Dan, you've got a lot of things that are really solid. Uh, the background on the subject is very clear. You explained what the context was clearly. Uh, your phrasing of the proposition, I think you fixed that well. You've got an excellent setup of what the secondary points are. The internal signposting is very strong, and so you give us good context. On the individual points, I thought you had very good information that you're citing. Uh, on the first point, there's some factual data. I assume that it comes from one of the reports that you're talking about, but that part wasn't clear. Later on, it was clear when you were citing uh, the official um, <coughs> report to either the Environmental Impact Report or the, what is it, the TCA. Uh, so those are... Um, uh, those are okay, uh, and I thought you had some good expert testimony. I did like the uh, one quote from the Surfer magazine because that sounds a little bit like it's uh, reluctant testimony. Here's somebody who, you know, this is a group that supposedly would be negatively affected by this, saying it's not going to be that big a deal, and so uh, that I think benefits you a little bit. So the generalizations I think are supported pretty well. Uh, just a couple of things I think are problematic, and most of them have to do with presentation. Uh, you're very quiet. You need to look up at us a little bit more, and pronunciation things, you're not a surfer, are you? Okay. Because, uh, are you from California, Southern California? Okay, because uh, we got some of those, you know, Spanish pronunciation of the words, San Onofre, San Mateo, those are the two places that uh, your pronunciation was a little, I heard San Onofre, or uh, the way you said it a couple times, and I I know what he's talking about. That's just, it, that's just a silly little thing. Uh, but there's another word, mitigate, that's also in there that's a little awkward. So it just needs a little bit of practice. I think, you know, you've got the notes there. You're reading what you've got in your notes and the information that's in the reports. But the presentation undermines the credibility, even though you've got a good structure. All right. Thank you.